Andrew and I am in Italy. Italians dress up as shepherds for Christmas. Italians have bonfires on Christmas Eve. Italians celebrate Epiphany on January 6th. For Italian celebrations, Italians eat food that Americans eat for Thanksgiving. I bet shepherds are important to Italians because kids dress up as shepherds. Some of their presents are girls from Baba Natal. They give gifts to people and communities. They also give gifts to police. Stores are busy at Christmas. Angels, the three can shape up and down to figures, Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. A Pisipio is a manger in Italy. People display Pisipios in churches, homes, and outdoors. Nativity scenes are important because they tell the story of Jesus being born. Most Italians hang their stockings on the doors or walls. They put lights on their shops on Christmas. They find gifts in the stockings on the Epiphany, which is January 6th. People in different regions eat different food. Some people don't eat for 24 hours before the big feast. People eat chicken and stuffing on Christmas. Most families eat lentils on New Year's. A bean represents a piece of money. The family dance, they like firecrackers on the 15th day is the lantern festival. Buddha's delight is a vegetarian dish. It looks like black hair like algae and it is served New Year's night. Gold dumplings represent gold and prosperity. Noodles that are uncut and made as long as they can represent long life. They make some American dishes, but they are for a different thing. There are trophy animals in China Zodiac. They dress up as the rats. They, they celebrate with the animals and mostly the rat. They, the, a team carries a dragon. The animals help the people celebrate Chinese New Year. In China, they celebrate with two dancing dragons. They give money to kids and they, and they celebrate because they defeated in the end. He, he was a man-eating dragon, but the people of China figured out that he was afraid of the color red, and the people lived happily ever after. Filipinos go to the table to get food. They eat up to 15 different kinds of foods, not including dessert. They eat a special pancake called a babinka. The grocery store or aisles will probably be filled with food this year. In the Philippines, they sing every night beginning on December 16th. In the Philippines, they sing popular songs. In the Philippines, young and old come together and sing songs. The Philippines have big golden tree. Some Philippines ha go to a place that has fake white trees. Some Philippines have pearls. They are so, so popular. When is Christmas Eve, people go to Midnight Mass. The Christmas season starts on December 16th. Every morning for nine days, people go to church. A church bell wakes people up at four o'clock to mark the start of Christmas. When the church is done, people gather up for Noche Buena. The celebration lasts all night. We play a mini game with the dreidel. If you win, you take all the coins in the middle. If you lose, you have to put all the coins back into the middle. Sometimes you get nothing and win. You spin a dreidel with the letters. That tells me how to play dreidel. Here be letters stand for a great miracle happening here. Children get presents every night of Hanukkah. Some get a large present on the last day. On the last day, children open presents and they are so happy. Hanukkah took place in a country that used to be called Judea. The Jewish people went to a gold temple called
called the house of God. The, the Greek king tore down the walls and demanded the Jewish people worship their gods. The people were angry and fought. The temple was rebuilt when the people won. They eat potato pancakes called lakas. They also eat jelly donuts. They cook them in oil to remember Hanukkah miracles. And menorah is a silver candle shaped like a tree. Candles are for lighting each night of Hanukkah. Jewish people put the menorah in the window seal for everyone to see. They put colored sand on the sidewalk. They put a torn up of the door. A torn is made out of colored sand. They also do special dances. People usually, usually have special food. They have lettuce, they have rice pudding. Tons of food is spicy, but no. In India, for Diwali, they buy lots of fireworks. Diwali celebrates when they battle leave a long ago. That's why it's called the Festival of Lights. It's awesome. I'm not in joking. In India, there is a dance called the Garba. It is an Indian dance. They dance to music that is cool. And you can hear it now. Some of the music is from the U.S. Welcome to Italy on channel 401. In Italy, there is low pressure creating showers today. It will move to Greece and southeast Eastern Europe through the rest of the week. There is a high pressure system that is moving to Italy to allow a lot of sunshine this week. There will be northern winds and highs in the 50s the rest of the week. Southern and close ahead of another area of low pressure. That will bring slightly warmer temperatures. This same area will bring rain to Italy this weekend. Have a safe holiday! Hi, Channel 401 China. Most of China will be dry this week because of a large area of high air pressure. A weak area of low pressure in northeast China will bring clouds and small chance for rain and snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. There will be a clockwise flow system. So there will be a northwest wind at the end of the week. This is Ethan, Torres, Tess, and Quips. For when China, out. Typhoon Hajipe is in the Philippines this year. A typhoon is a tropical hurricane over the Pacific Ocean. It can spin up to 85 miles per hour. Isn't that a lot? This typhoon will move east throughout Tuesday. Throughout the week, high pressure to the north will bring easterly winds to the Philippines. Easterly winds will bring moisture in the form of clouds through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This weekend, disturbances will bring rain to the Philippines. This it is Cole, Dorothea, Maya, Mia, and Ben. Reporting live on Channel 401. Wednesday, there will be an area of high pressure bringing a clear to partly cloudy sky Wednesday through Friday. High temperatures will be in the 70s this week. Low pressure will be down over the Mediterranean Sea. This low pressure will bring warm air into Israel. Happy Holidays! There will be a high air pressure in Western Asia, which will bring winds to all of India this week. This week, India will be dry because of high air pressure. High air pressure will not be as high in South in India, and there will be disturbing. This disturbance will bring a small chance of rain. This, this is Jillian, Amanda, Lynn, Megan, reporting from India. India.